First tonight, a major ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court today with national implications, and it's all connected to an old West Michigan case. The high court deciding to loosen campaign finance restrictions, and this decision could have an immediate impact on the upcoming congressional elections. 24-hour news aide's Jessica Leffler caught up with a local man at the center of this ruling today. Jess? Brian, Susie, it all began when Richard Banstra made a run for the state representative spot in 1985. Then an issue over campaign financing hit the national spotlight. Now, several years later, the Supreme Court ruling from the 80s has just been overturned. The U.S. Supreme Court loosening restrictions on campaign finances and meantime overturning a landmark ruling in 1985 with connections right here in West Michigan. 25 years ago, the, the State Chamber of Commerce wanted to place an ad uh, saying vote for Banstra and there was a state statute that didn't allow them to do that. 24-hour News 8 was able to track down Richard Banstra in the center of the controversy storm over the statute involving campaigning finances for his run for state representative. The case wove its way through the judicial system, all the way to the Supreme Court, where the ruling said it was okay to prohibit that kind of advertising. Fast forward 25 years. By a vote of 5 to 4, the Supreme Court overturned that ruling and says companies can use money to run their own campaign ads, but cannot contribute directly to politicians. A ruling that Banstra would have preferred in 1985 and still agrees with today. I read the opinions today. I I agree with the majority that uh, if we are going to legally treat corporations like persons, then they should have re uh, free speech rights like the rest of us do. Supporters of the decision call it a victory for free speech, but some are concerned it could give corporations the upper hand. No matter what your views are on campaign financing reform, it was designed to limit corruption and the corrupting influence money has on politics. Those laws being stripped away, I think, frankly, in the long run, we can expect more corruption in politics. The Supreme Court ruling impacts not only corporations, but also unions when it comes to campaign financing. For now, we're at the Live Desk. I'm Jessica Lesser, 24-hour News 8. Back to you.